The box joints combine with the box bars by using a rubber mallet to gently combine the two bars together. The gloves should be long enough to reach your shoulders, which will then be attached to the arm tubes, which will be glued to the acrylic panels later on. Acrylic panels, two per each side, and will be glued together using acrylic glue, which you see here. Next, we use gasket to seal the box after the panels have been glued together. This weather stripping is used to create a semi-seam on the bottom of the box, which should be wide enough to cover the beams. The vinyl tubing is used to bring gas from a cylinder tank to the inside of the glove box. The single swag lock fitting uh, is used to connect the hose from the inside of the box to the outside of the box. The triple swag lock junction is to connect different uh, vinyl hoses together. Along with the quadruple swag lock junction which disconnects four instead of three. The swag lock inserts go inside the tube to make for a better fitting on the swag lock fittings. Here's a rough sketch of uh, what the glove box should look like after we are complete. A sewing frame without the top part of the frame attached. We used a hammer and a block of wood to pound the box joints into the box beams to connect the frame together. The acrylic panel should have a paper coating. Mark on the paper where you want to machine the holes for arms to be inserted through. Make sure the armholes are the same diameter as the arm tubes. Take care to make sure the armholes are placed apart at a comfortable width from each other. Machining, we use a drill bit that is the same diameter as the arm tubes. Carefully use a hand drill to drill out the circles you previously marked on the acrylic panels. Always wear eye protection and take care as to avoid injury. There it is. Now the arm tubes, you will, you will need to cut the acrylic arm tubes into four sections. After all the panels have been machined, peel off the paper coating on the panels. This is a video of us peeling the paper off one of the cut holes since we did not have enough time to record taking the paper off the acrylic panels. For the weather stripping, just peel off the white tape and attach it to the bottom of the box. Gluing. Once all the machining is finished and the paper removed from two panels per side of the glove box, you will need to glue together the acrylic panels using acrylic glue. We glue the panels together facing sideways so that the, hot, um, excuse me, the weight from the first panel would press into the second panel. Your panels will have to sit for 24 hours before the glue can be considered dry. want to make sure that the panel is flush with each other and that it's the same height and width on both sides. Alright, next you want to apply the gasket. Once the panels are completely dry, place them right side up and begin to seal around the panels. Insert the outside edges of the ga gasket first, then insert the middle section of the gasket. Then again, insert the middle between the outside and the previously inserted middle and repeat until all gasket is placed inside. Gluing and attaching the gloves. Attach the gloves securely to the arm tubes. We do not need any additional items to attach the gloves because the gloves attach very tightly on their own. After attaching the gloves to the arm tubes, we insert the arm tubes into the armholes and use acrylic glue to glue the arm tubes to the acrylic panels. 
Once again, the glue must be allowed to sit for 24 hours to be considered dry. Swag lock. First, start by cutting the vinyl hose into five 10 inch sections from the original vinyl hose. Next, insert the blue cap side of the single swag lock fitting into the four acrylic flannel holes on top of the glove box. The, glo the blue cap should be inside the glove holes. Swag lock insert into every opening of the five sections. Next, insert the end of the vinyl tubing into the swag lock tube fitting on top of the glove box. From there, rotate the nut until it is finger tight. Take, then take a wrench and tighten the tube fitting nut for another turn and a quarter. Take the other end of the hose and attach it to the outside of the triple swag lock tube fitting. Then using the adjacent swag lock fitting on top of the box, again insert the uh, acrylic tube from there to the other side of the three of the triple swag lock fitting. Then attach a hose from the middle of the triple swag lock fitting to one of the openings of the quadruple swag lock fitting with the other two sides of the quadruple, quadruple swag lock fitting attached to the other two holes on top of the, of the acrylic glass. From there you should have one hose on the quadruple swag lock fitting that you can attach the remaining hose from the air tank to the swag lock fitting. Here's our finished product. Thank you for watching this video and remember safety first.